we can start with the skills uh yeah you know, uh normally uh, if if you see any job uh, job description for a sdt role it, yeah. it it sounds like uh, such a wide list you know and in reality also there's a wide list of skills that you know yeah. companies expect when you apply for a sdt role but Correct. if we talk about the top few mandatory skills you know that uh, in my experience you definitely should have yeah uh, you know before applying for such roles uh, i think the first and the foremost is the fundamental in the core of this role which is you should be a great tester your testing skills okay so before learning anything you have to clear your concepts of uh, uh, you know the testing fundamentals like what are the levels of testing what are the different types of testing how to follow the testing pyramid uh, and what are the different new processes that you can bring in in order to you know uh, test better that's it mm. right the second is uh, and 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 it's very interesting to see uh, where does coding come even in this order right so the first yeah, was yeah. Uh, being a great tester the second is having an end to end product understanding okay right and this product understanding should be from uh, the tech perspective the engineering perspective like what's happening behind the curtains behind the scene right okay. so this this includes uh, having knowledge about your uh, front end or web application framework having knowledge about your middle layers what cache layers what db layers what servers what's the back end architecture that you're using and then applying the, all of that to your daily test plans and test strategies right correct the third skill again product understanding but from this time from a non technical or you can say business and uh, a uh, marketing point of view you know yeah. you have you, you uh, that's one more aspect that most of us miss right okay uh, and then comes the requirement of being very comfortable around coding it's like ability mm-hmm. to read and write code and having okay. your basic fundamentals revised and oops concept revised and again i always use this term revised because we have all gone through the oops concepts and the fundamentals of coding uh, somewhere or the other in our uh, like education or previous years mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. and then comes the practical knowledge of at least one automation tool be it front end or back end or any form of automation that would give an idea about the 5h and 1w of like automation like when to apply where to apply what to do and you know so on mm-hmm. so and i think last but not the least uh, it's it's kind of a role which uh, which has its edges around all the all other different cross cross functional uh, roles so you have to have a clear concise and confident communication okay uh, right and and finally the curiosity to learn and you know continuously evolve yeah i think that that would make the top uh, uh, you know mandatory list for skills 